fractions that don't have the same denominator and you need to add or subtract. The way you're going to be working this out is not that difficult. So let's see why is it that we say that two fractions are, them are different. Say for example, if I have um, 2 thirds plus 1 third. This is read as to say 2 thirds plus 1 third. Notice the word third and third are there. So that means um, that in this case, both of them are the same. Okay? Now, if I was to have now 2 thirds plus 1 over 5, then it, it reads as to say 2 thirds plus 1 fifth. Notice fifth and thirds, they are not the same. So to add or subtract fractions with different denominators, as in this case here, this one here, we express them as equivalent fractions that have the same or common denominator. So we need to express them with a similar denominators. The smallest common denominator called the least or lowest common denominator, or it is usually the easiest common denominator to, to use. Not to say that you can do other way, other methods, you can still do it. All right. But the key point there is that it is the least common denominator in simple terms. Okay, so let's start with a few examples and then we proceed. So if I have now examples, examples, we have add a um, one fifth plus three fourths. We'll be adding those two. We need we need to express each fraction as an equivalent fraction that have the LCD or its or a common denominator. Then we will use the rule for adding fractions that have the same denominator. So that's the first thing. Get them to have the same denominator so we can add them together. Why? Because to add and subtract fractions that um, with fractions that have that must have like denominators is much easier. So let's see. So what you do is that you need to determine what is the LCD of 5 and 4 okay so how do you determine the LCD well LCD is like this 5 4 let's start the ladder method 2 into 5 can't evenly so therefore we said 2 into 4 that's 2 bring down the 5 and then we say you now can you think in the smallest and um, um, prime number which is still 2 so 2 into 5 can't so we bring that down and this becomes 1 now the next number that can go into 5 would then be 5, so we say 1. So now the LCD will be 2, no 5 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 times 5 gives us 20, which is the LCD. So therefore we need to get both of them to have the same value as a denominator. So the way you're going to do this is as follows. Bring down the problem here. 1 fifth and 3 fourths the only way I could multiply 5 to get a 20 is to multiply by 4 so whatever I multiply at the top I must multiply at the bottom in other words I must simply multiplying by the value of 1 bring down this sign here and then we multiply this 4 by a value to get 20 4 times 5 will give us 20 so we multiply at the bottom by 5 and as well 5 at the top okay so that's how we do that now we proceed to multiplication as how we were doing before and we end up now with 1 times 4 4 5 times 4 20 plus 3 times 5 15 4 times 5 20 that now gives us like denominator so we keep the denominator and we say 4 plus 15 which is 19 over 20 that is how you add fractions that have different denominators okay now let's do the subtraction now i'm going to subtract now right. and then i give subtract um we have seven over two take away 
5 over 3 okay so the way you're going to do this is as follows you're going to have to make them have the same denominator again so what's the LCD of 3 and 2 simply 6 so LCD equals 6 I must make both of them have the same denominator so therefore the next step is 7 over 2 times one value times 2 will give me 6 the value is 3 so I must multiply the top by 3 and the bottom by 3 bring down this sign which is minus I put 5 over 3 now 3 times what will give me 6 well that will be simply 2 so we put 2 at the top and 2 at the bottom so when we multiply this out we end up with 7 times 3 21 2 times 3 will give us 6 minus 5 times 2 10 3 times 2 6 now don't worry about them they look with bigger number at the top that's not the point the point is that you're getting them to equal the, the like denominators okay so now we say 21 take away 10 over 6 keep the denominator which is then um, 11 over 6 and that's your solution for it okay nothing complicated there just follow the procedures and you should have no problem whatsoever okay uh, let's go with some other examples consider example now add negative 9 plus um, 3 fifth okay so what do I do here well if you notice I have negative 9 right and what I need to do is to convert the negative 9 to a fraction so we do that as the first step so that's negative 9 over 1 it is still negative 9 plus 3 over 5 okay let me zoom in there a little bit more so it's that's 3 over 5 now what's the LCD of 1 on 5 it is simply 5 so I must multiply here by 5 to get them equal to have same denominator so I have negative 9 over 1 times 5 over 5 then plus 3 over 5 well I won't need to multiply this so because this is already in the same denominator so we now say negative 9 times 5 that gives me negative 45 over 5 plus 3 over 5 now what does the rule say when they have like denominators you keep the like denominator and then you either add or subtract the two top values but we have negative 45 plus 3 which is in a value of negative 42 over 5 leave your answer in that form unless otherwise say to express it as a mixed number